Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video on a few newer fragrances to my collection that I'm completely and utterly in love with. So basically it's kind of like my current favorites right now. So I have quite a few new fragrances that you guys have never heard me talk about before. Most of them I just acquired here in Dubai. So I'll tell you guys which ones, etc. But I'm really excited to talk about them because I'm seriously obsessed with like every single one of these fragrances, more specifically three of them, and I'll mention which three. So let's just get into it. I'm just going to go through and just kind of very easily review them. Not serious. This is not a serious video at all. I'm just going to sit here, chill with you guys, and talk about some current favorites that I recently just acquired. So let's get into it. Also, I want to say I've addressed it in every single video. I know my background, everything is different right now. The lighting is not good. <laughs> etc but I'm actually in Dubai right now so I'm not sure when I can get back to Australia but uh, I'm making do with what I can right now so I hope that you guys can bear with me so yes anyways let's get into the video so the first fragrance that I have here is one that's been around for a very long time and it is from Guerlain and I recently just got a bottle it's an old bottle actually the formula is from very 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 long ago but the scent is still exactly the same. I love it so much. And it is L'Instant Magique from Guerlain. This one right here. There we go. This scent is just beautiful. Like it's simple. It's innocent. It's powdery. Violets. Vanilla. But for me, it's a very simple scent. It's very innocent. It's along the lines of like Mon Guerlain, for instance. Not the same, but it's along that kind of more innocent, beautiful fragrance. This is powdery, powdery, sweet. It almost smells uh, like those little pink musky lollies, sort of. So I really love the scent. For me, it's... I know it sounds strange, but I like to wear this one like to go to sleep. The scent itself is beautiful. Like I said, it's sweet, powdery. Um, that's mostly what I get from it. I'm not going to lie to you guys. That's mostly what I get. It's not a complex fragrance to me at all. It's just a very beautiful, innocent scent. It reminds me of something of my childhood, actually. Maybe a, a mixture of like Flower by Kenzo, which is the one fragrance that kind of got me into my journey because my mom wore it a lot as a when I was growing up. When I was like a lot younger, in around like year four, I used to spray my uh, mom's perfume, Flower by Kenzo, to go to school until I got told off by my teacher. And uh, for me, I guess it kind of gives me a resemblance of that fragrance, but I like this one a little better because it's more sweet, it's more um, decadent to me. So Linston Magique from Guerlain, definitely love it and I'm very happy to have it. Okay, so the next fragrance that I have here, I never heard anybody talk about this fragrance. Honestly, I don't hear a lot about this house, but it's a pretty good house. I'm not going to say it's my favorite because it's not, but it's a good house. This is Bois 1920. And this fragrance is from their Elite collection, and it is Elite number two. Now this one, this is good stuff. Like this is really good. It's very delicious, gourmand, it's sweet. It has rose, vanilla, sugar, some aquatic notes. It almost has a little bit of a chocolatiness to it. I think it could be like maybe a praline note in here. But let me tell you guys, if you like your sweet gourmand fragrances, this is one that you have to check out for sure. Uh, I remember a lot of people have told me that they really, uh, not a lot, but a few people have told me that they really didn't like the recommendation with this fragrance here, which I love personally. This one may be up your alley then because it's a lot less intense. It doesn't have a sickliness to it. It's very sweet, but not in a sickly way. It almost has a little bit of a freshness to it. Like there is a little bit of a citrusy burst in the opening, but then it settles down into a beautiful, sweet, soft praline, very intense, very indulgent, a little chocolatey sort of fragrance. So Bois 1920 Elite number two, really love this one. I have tried the others from this line and this one is definitely my favorite. So check it out for sure. It's pretty expensive though. Like I'm not sure why this line is a lot more expensive. So try it before you buy because it's very expensive and this fragrance is incredible. And yeah, I really love it. So Elite number two from Bois 1920. Okay, so next up, I'm just going to... 
I don't know which one to mention. So I have three fragrances here that I am like obsessed with, I'm in love with, and I don't know which one is like my favorite right now, so I'm just gonna grab any. Okay, so the first one is from Anique Goutal, Goutal now, and this is from this line. I don't know what it, this line is called actually, but the bottles are so cute. And this one is called uh, Nuit et Confidence. And this fragrance is just beautiful. Like, it is beautiful. It is for my, again, gourmand lovers for sure. But it's not too much. It's definitely not too much. For me, it has uh, like this kind of marshmallowy sort of vanilla -like sweetness to it without being too much. It also has like when you put it on your skin, it has like this slightly smoky touch to it, but not too much where it's smoky because I really don't like incense in my fragrances, but there is a little bit in here. Like I said, it's vanilla. There's a little bit of an incense note. It's very marshmallowy to me. Like it smells a little bit like marshmallows. It's a very light vanilla actually. Like it's not too sickly. I feel like uh, it's quite a light sort of scent. Like it's not too much where it, like it's not too much it's still gourmand but it's not aggressive it's not too heavy it's not too sweet or too sickly it's just divine so for me personally this is like my favorite fragrance from Anique Goutal and uh, definitely if you're a vanilla fan you have to check this one out because I'm obsessed with it right now like seriously guys I love it so yes Nuit, Nuit et Confidence from Anique Goutal highly 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 recommend to the vanilla lovers out there the only thing that I have to say is that the longevity is not fantastic on this one, which is a shame because I love the scent so much. It's not like great longevity, but if you like the scent, it's worth buying because it's really good. Okay, so next up we have a Tiziana Terenzi and this fragrance, guys, it is so good. Like, I'm mind blown. This fragrance is amazing. I'm done. Again, for my gourmand lovers, you guys know, like, I'm a huge gourmand girl, like, they're my favorite type of fragrances, like, sweet, vanilla, chocolate, praline, honey, they're my, they're my favorites. I'm sorry, I don't know, it's always been my thing, I just love gourmands. This is one of my favorite gourmands now, of all time, it is Deluxe, Deluxe, from Tiziana Terenzi, right here. Now, if you guys like Intense Cafe from Montal. This fragrance is Intense Cafe from Montal, but better. This is Intense Cafe, but better. It's vanilla, it's honey, it's rose, it's sweet, delicious, creamy, coffee, caramelly, but it's not too much. It's more refined than Montal's Intense Cafe. It's more high quality. I just like it a little bit more, even though the scent itself are like pretty much the same. I prefer Deluxe from Tiziana Terenzi. Guys, it is so, so, so good. It's like my new favorites. And if you like what I just said, you have to check this one out. It's incredible. So Tiziana Terenzi, Deluxe. Final fragrance I'm not going to be able to pronounce, but I was like stunned when I tried this scent because to be honest with you guys, like this house is not a house that I gravitate towards at all. I've tried a few from this house and I don't really like the fragrances. I think that they're very boring, overpriced, blah. but uh, I feel like I just trash them. But anyway, Terry de Gunsberg, Gunsberg, Terry de Gunsberg, I think it is. And this fragrance is called... Delectation Splendid. Delectation Splendid, I think. Now, guys, 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 girls in the back, guys in the back. Whoa. Whoa. This fragrance. <sighs> wow. It is absolutely divine. This is sweet. It is delicious. It is intense. It's intoxicating. Let me spray it on me. It's so, so, so good. It's plum, it's cinnamon, it's spicy, it's warm. It's very, very, very intense, very, very sweet. Oh my God, guys, like it's just incredible. It's slightly powdery as well. So you definitely have to be okay with like more powdery sweet fragrances, but it is divine, you guys. If you like plum, tobacco, 
um, those sort of fragrances like Blue Lazuli from Armani, if you like those fragrances, oh my god, you have to check this one out. Uh, maybe Tobacco Vanille from Tom Ford, but this does not smell like Tobacco Vanille, but I'm just saying along those lines of fragrances, wow, this one is incredible. Think of maybe like Tobacco Vanille minus the cloves, minus the... Uh, the creaminess this one is more intense more sweet more sugary it's just amazing guys like i really cannot say enough good things about this one so definitely check it out like i said this house is not a house that appeals to me at all i've tried many of their fragrances i don't like them but delectation delectation splendide is incredible and i highly recommend it to gourmand lovers if you like sweet fragrances this is one that you definitely have to check out so yes i would say out of this video this fragrance here this fragrance here and this fragrance here are probably like my favorites so yes that is it you guys i hope that you enjoyed this video and uh yeah tell me what you guys are loving at the moment are there any fragrances that you recommend that i check out I'm always open to hearing and yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.